Now we move to owner's compensation. To get what um, to get what the owner's compensation we need, we need a source of reliable data. For this purposes, I'm using the labor statistics um, from the bls.gov website. Here, since I'm comparing a landscaping business, so I'm, I'm in the data for landscaping where I can see the average wages. So I want to look at what the average and the percentile ranges for the pay I'm making. Here we can see the annual wage for the landscaping ground working business, which is what the owner does for his business, is 41070 so now we're going to go and compare what he has in his records to see what he's paying to see if he's overcompensating himself or undercompensating himself. So next we move to the records, the profit and loss statement. That's where we'll find owner's compensation. So we go to the line items where it says owner compensation. Click on that. We see that it is $50,000. Well, this is more than the 41,000, the 90th percentiles we saw in the statistic data. So that means this owner is overcompensating himself 9,000. So next we go to the Excel file and we put $9,000 here. Now let's make the assumption that, for example, he was paying himself 41,000, but the average was 50,000. Then that will be a negative because he's undercompensating himself. So be sure to use the negative if it's an undercompensation and positive if it's an overcompensation. 